It's been really exciting to work on this project and to use the collaborations between us as a university and companies like El Acoustics who are working in the field and to bring in international artists like Brona Martin and Paula Fairfield to work with students and with academics in the university to develop sound pieces for these innovative multi-channel systems. It was really beautiful and get to um, kind of experience ambient sound like that. Quite immersive. I've known about this project for quite some time and was really excited to come and see it today. It's worth like coming here and checking out the space and uh, it's really nice atmosphere. It's wonderful to have something like this. The main goal of the research side of this project was to develop these working practices and to really interrogate these working practices to challenge the tools and technologies that are made by engineers and so scientifically, technically they work very well, but how do they function when artists are introduced, when the people that at the end of the day are the end users of the product, how do they react and interact and do the tools actually allow them to do the creative things that they want to do? I loved this evening. I loved all the um, completely different approaches from all the composers. I mean, talk about um, variety and the use of the space and all that. Um, this system is incredible. And I think it's, you know, the beginnings of uh, kind of a new frontier for audio, you know? So it was wonderful to hear all these pieces, just the, just the, the breadth of it, you know, how everyone approached it, how everyone used the space is, is really inspiring. They were really excited because this was the first time that they'd really heard the space used in a completely 360 degree immersive way. When our students came, they were really using the full 360 space and sounds were flying around the room, bouncing across the room. And they said that, that was a really incredible experience that really provided something new that they hadn't uh, experienced before. Obviously, that, that possibility was designed into the technology, but it wasn't until we brought our skills, our artistic kind of intentions to their uh, technology that that was fully realized. So it was really exciting to be able to realize the potential in their new system. I think one of the things I like the most is just like trying to close my eyes and feel the space and feel the sounds and... It was a fully immersive uh, adventure into an amazing journey, actually. It was really interesting to kind of see everyone's performances and kind of how the sound kind of moved through the room and kind of pushed and pulled uh, to different people's kind of reactions as they were experiencing it. Being in a room like this where you only have sound and you have to kind of close your eyes and immerse yourself in it and you can walk around and experience it is really wonderful. You know, to hear pieces that are being composed for an immersive space is something new and wonderful and a new playground for us all to play with. 
And uh, very wonderful that uh, Lisa has given this opportunity for young composers, old composers to come in and do stuff, students. I mean, my god, to have access to this kind of technology is, is amazing. I think it's really cool that L Acoustics have, you know, collaborated with Greenwich. And I think the works were wonderful. Very cinematic, I thought. It could be very well used, you know, with motion picture. Bringing uh, international artists to work in part of the project as well brings new perspectives and everybody has different workflows. So it's really interesting to compare and contrast uh, workflow practices from Sonic Arts with industry workflow practices from uh, film and television to see how are there similarities, are there differences in the way that people would approach. Essentially so that we can build up a sense of how a wide range of different potential users could interact with the system. Well, I think sound is a unique medium anyway because uh, it's so different from all other mediums. The elements that, have, that are most interesting to me about sound are the viscerality, um, the primality, and uh, the emotionality. You know, the emotional charge that sounds can carry is quite extraordinary. The fact that we now today have these technologies starting to come into their own, uh, starting to allow for a platform to explore that where you really can feel like you're in a sonic space. And it's, I, I find it to be a very exciting time to be working in audio for that reason. I think we've learned a lot through the process of how we can create for these spaces, the uh, ways in which the technology works and the ways in which that it doesn't quite work yet for the creative process. It's been really interesting to learn the limits of the system and to try and push the system into places where it's never been intended before. You could tell that there were bits of each of the pieces where everyone would sort of stand still and close their eyes and really just sort of take in the moment and feel their feelings. And I love that so much. I'm very thankful to this uh, opportunity because uh, this uh, exploration of sound and texture amazed me. It was like a, living in a utopian world. Thank you very much.